Hello friends, uh, we'll take up a quiz on the quadrilateral now. So here are some of the questions on uh, quadrilateral. And uh, here are some more questions uh, based on the quadrilateral session. Let's look at the solution for the first question. If angles A, B, C and D of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3 is to 7 is to 6 is to 4, find the type of quadrilateral. So now let's say the angles of the quadrilateral are 3x, 7x, 6x and 4x. Sum of all the angles of the quadrilateral is 360. So we can say 3x plus 7x plus 6x plus 10, 4x is equal to 360 which gives us 20x equal to 360 and x becomes equal to 18 degree. So the angles of the quadrilateral are 54, 126, 108 and 72 degree. Now we can see that sum of one pair of adjacent angles is 180 degree. So we can say we can see that 54 plus 126 is 180 and 108 plus 72 is 180 but it's just one pair. So it is a trapezium. In parallelogram, any uh, the sum of any two adjacent angles is 120, 180 degrees. So this is not the case here. So this is a trapezium. Let's look at the second question. Find the angle ACD of a rhombus ABCD whose angle ABC is given to be 54. So we are saying this angle is given to be 54 degree. We need to find angle ACD. We need to find this angle. Now it is given that the angle ABC is 54 degree and we also know that the triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle because for a rhombus we know that AB is equal to BC. So the triangle ABC becomes an isosceles triangle so we can say that the angle BAC and angle BCA, these two angles would be equal and they can be given by 180 degree minus 54 divided by 2. So this comes out to be 63 degree. So these angles are 63 degree. And we also know that sum of adjacent angles in a rhombus is 180 degree. So angle BCD, this complete angle we know is 180 minus 54 which is 126 degree. And angle ACD is equal to angle BCD minus angle BCA which is 126 minus 63 and that's 63 degree. Otherwise also we know that the diagonal in the rhombus bisects the angles. So if we know the total angle is 126 degree which is given by this, we can simply say that the angle gets bisected. So angle ACD will be 63 degree. So these are two ways of doing it. Let's now look at the third question. What type of quadrilateral do we get by joining the midpoints of adjacent sides of a rhombus? So we have this rhombus ABCD and we mark the midpoints as PQRS and we join them. Now we need to find out what type of quadrilateral is PQRS. Now in this, in triangle ADB, in this triangle ADB, PQ is parallel to DB and in triangle CBD, CDB, we have RS parallel to DB. Now the, this is because of the midpoint theorem of the triangle which says that if we join the midpoints of two given sides, of the triangle then the line formed by joining them is parallel to the third side of the triangle. So by, by that theorem PQ 
is parallel to db and in this triangle cdb sr is parallel to db so we can say that pq is parallel to rs similarly ps will be parallel to qr if we draw the diagonal ac and we take the triangles acd and acb we again using the midpoint theorem of triangle we'll say ps becomes parallel to qr now this implies pqrs is a parallelogram and we know that triangle bqr and dps are congruent because bq is equal to dp br is equal to br is equal to ds and the angle between them are equal angle b and angle d are also equal this being a rhombus so we can say these two triangles are congruent which would mean that ps is also equal to qr and it also says that angle psd is equal to angle brq similarly angle csr will become equal to crs now if we see angle psd plus angle psr plus angle csr is equal to angle brq plus angle qrs plus angle crs equal to 180 degree so we are essentially saying that this we'll take a different color here so we are saying this is 180 degree and this is 180 degree this is something because of a straight line these two two angles are 180 degree now this would mean that angle psr this angle is equal to angle qrs equal to 90 degree because we are saying that angle csr this angle is equal to angle crs which is this angle angle psd this angle is equal to angle brq this so and these two angles so all of these are angles are equal so we can say that angle psr and angle qrs is equal to 90 degree so this parallelogram with the angles being 90 degree is a rectangle so the important thing to note here is reaching the conclusion that these two angles are 90 degree so we clearly see that these two angles are equal and csr and crs are equal so that gives us angle psr and angle qrs to be equal to 90 degree let's move on to the fourth question in a trapezium abcd where ab is parallel to cd and ad is equal to bc find angle d if angle c is equal to 76 degree so we are saying this angle is specified to be equal to 76 degree and it's given that ab is parallel to cd and ad is equal to bc we need to find this angle now the given trapezium is a an isosceles trapezium clearly because we know that the one pair of sides are parallel the other the non parallel sides are equal means this is a this is an isosceles trapezium so angle c is equal to angle d which would mean that the angle d is equal to 76 degree moving on to the fifth question now in the parallelogram this given parallelogram we need to find the value of y this angle y 
Now angle D is given to be 68 degree. So angle C will be 180 minus 68 which will be 112 degree. Angle C E B is again 180 minus this 139 which comes out to be 41 degree. So we know this is 41 and this is 112. So now in the triangle E C B the sum of angles is 180 degree. So angle Y becomes 180 minus 112 minus 41 which comes out to be 27 degrees. So y is equal to 27. Now moving to the last question of uh, this quiz. In rectangle ABCD angle BAC is equal to 48 degree. We need to find angle DBC. So we have to find this angle while angle BAC this angle is given to be 48 degree. Now in this triangle AOB, if we take this triangle AOB, angle BAO is equal to angle ABO, this will also become 48. Why? Because the diagonals are equal in a rectangle and since the diagonals bisect each other, we can say this side AO is equal to BO. So the triangle AOB becomes an isosceles triangle. So angle BAO will be equal to angle AOB which is 48 degree. So angle DBC is nothing but ABC minus ABO which is 90 minus 48. That comes out to be 42 degree. Friends. I hope you enjoyed the session. If you find it useful, please like it and share it with your friends. You can visit us at our Cool Smart Learning website and post your queries there. And please subscribe to the Cool Smart Learning channel for getting updates on the new sessions. Thank you.